Camaraderie, is there, I mean, you obviously know that there are three of you who represent another country. Is there a bit of pride in all this with you? Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, um, he, Dylan, Chris, uh, you know, we have you know, our differences here and there, but, you know, we all come from the same place. And uh, it's kind of like, you know, a family type of atmosphere with me and him. You know, we always hang out with each other, you know, we know exactly what's going on with each other. And, uh, we come from the same place, so you know we can talk our own lingo and stuff like that. And uh, and then you know it does bring you know us closer and uh, you know uh, and our teammates you know follow it too, you know lingo and, and you know the, I guess the Canadian way. But um, you know, it just brings us closer and you know it just brings a family atmosphere. How do you think it happened that three of you from the same country, not the U.S. obviously, end up in Oregon? And what what's the lingo and what's this? Uh, What's the stuff you say? Are you like? Uh, I guess it's, you know it's just I was the first one here, and uh, you know I I told them how great it is and you know how they treat you and all that and and they thought you know if they're treating you know me well and, and you know things well you know I'm they're gonna treat me well as well uh, them as well so uh, they decided to join and uh, you know we had great success and um, you know the lingo is just you know the accents and. You know, understanding, you know, how we talk and stuff, and, you know, some guys are, you know, catching on and stuff like that, but, you know, it's just, it just brings us, you know, a lot closer. Thanks. Thanks. From the left. Uh, yeah, how do you beat a team like Carolina? I mean, with their bigs and they're running and gunning, what do you say? Um, I feel like, you know, they run on one end, you know, offensive end, you know, defensive end is kind of, you know, uh, a little shaky. Uh, you know, they got bigs, you know, who got to take a lot of oxygen, so, you know, we just got to keep on running them. And, you know, limit them to one shot. You know, they lead the whole nation in rebounding, you know, 15 plus, uh, beating their teams over. So, uh, you know, we got to limit them to one shot and, uh, you know, uh, make them work on the defensive end for sure. Here in the middle. Dylan, you guys have played Duke, Kansas, UCLA, now Carolina. Do you get a little stuff in place in some of these kind of national programs and you guys are on the rise? Um, yeah, you know, uh, I guess. Uh, you know, we are on the rise and we're trying to prove that, you know, we are a basketball school and, uh, you know, we're really good at what we do. And, um, you know, those are teams that, you know, we go out there and, you know, play hard and play together and, you know, know what's at stake. And, you know, guys, you know, always want to get recruited by those teams, uh, but they never gave them the chance. And, uh, you know, Oregon said gave them the chance. And, you know, they want to prove to, you know, I guess, you know, the blue blood schools that, you know, we are some. Do you feel that way? Duke and North Carolina schools that didn't recruit you to show them Kansas too? Yeah, all the time. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, I felt like you know, I was a great player and you know, I knew it was a chance. And, uh, you know, those teams never looked my way. And, you know, uh, you know Coach Allman did and, you know, those teams did. And, uh, uh, you know, I guess, you know, I just want to prove that, you know, I'm one of the best players, you know, in the Final Four and even in the country. In the back. It's a great thing, you know, uh, it makes you want to watch basketball a little more, you know, seeing familiar faces and stuff like that. Um, but, um, you know, it's just a great thing. It shows that, you know, Canada basketball is on the rise and, uh, you know, uh, Canadian basketball players can, you know, change programs and, uh, you know, uh, give a lot to a program. And, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you know, coaches in the America, America should, you know, come down and come down to the cold, you know, north. Canada, you know, recruit and um, uh, and uh, you know, it's just it's just great basketball and uh, you know, Dwayne noticed me and Dylan and Chris, you know, have been showing you know a lot, uh, you know, Canadian basketball. You know, we we're all not the biggest names in in, in Canada basketball, but uh, you know, either way, you know, we we, we show a brand of basketball that you know we work hard, put a lot of energy, and show a lot of enthusiasm to the game. Right here. Um, you know, it means a lot. You know, I felt like you know last year I should have gotten as well. Um, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's just a thing to show that you know you are one of the best players in, in your conference. And I feel like the Pac-12 is a, a very elite conference, so you know it's it's a great honor to have. But you know, I wouldn't you know be a Pac-12 player here without my teammates and 
you know, sharing the basketball to me and making plays for them and, you know, showcasing my talents and, you know, having a great coach like Coach Alvin put me in the right spots. And, you know, I'm, I'm grateful and glad for that. And it just shows that, you know, you're, you know, you're one of the best players in your conference. And, uh, you know, like I said, Pac-12 is one of the best conferences out there. Kansas and Michigan have two of the high-powered offenses this tournament, and your defense has really gave them fits. Can you maybe explain the philosophy of your defense and why you feel like it's so effective against um, offenses? You know, we move around. You know, we're real active on the ball and off the ball. Uh, you know, we play a zone that, you know, no teams can really figure out. Um, and, you know, we got shot blockers in the middle. We love the block shots. And, you know, guys are really fighting the dribble. And, you know, the big thing about our defense is our communication. Uh, you know, we communicate. We over-communicate on the and, um, you know, uh, and that's what makes us, you know, focus in and, you know, limit our mistakes on defense and not give up easy baskets. And then especially, you know, our defense would have been way better if, you know, we could rebound a little bit better on the defense end. But I feel like, you know, in this tournament, we are rebounding a lot better. And, you know, Jordan's rebounding out of his mind right now. So, uh, you know, it's just it's just all about, you know, limiting them to one shot and, you know, rebounding it and communication and, you know, being real active.